Get your special discount offer on the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash video. Often when managing a project, you will have a grouping of related tasks that create a larger task or phase. You can group these lower level tasks, which are often linked together, into a larger task, which is often called a phase or a summary task. The summary task or phase consists of the various tasks that must be completed in order to finish that part of the project. In this lesson, we will examine how to indicate a phase within a project file by using summary tasks. Now first, you must create a task that is placed above the various subtasks within the phase. You do not need to set a duration for this task, as it is a summary task, and that means that its duration is calculated by the sum value of the durations of its subtasks. So you would simply name the task whatever you want the phase to be titled, and then save the task. Note that you may need to insert a new task above the first subtask within a phase in order to enter the title for your summary task or phase. To insert a new task above another task, just select the title of the task above which you would like to insert a new task, and then select either Insert from the menu bar and choose the New Task command, or just click the Insert button on your keyboard to insert a new task above your currently selected task within your list. You can then select the new blank task and enter the name of the phase or summary task into the new cell if needed. So once you have that done, you would next select the tasks that appear below the summary task that make up your subtasks within the phase. Once these have been selected, you can then choose either project from the menu bar, roll down to outline, and then choose the indent command or you can simply click the indent button in the formatting toolbar instead. Either way, the selected tasks will be grouped as subtasks below the summary task or phase. Note that the duration of the phase or summary task has then been changed to indicate the duration of the subtasks. Also note that you can link summary tasks together to note sequential phases in a larger project if desired. You can also link the start of a summary task to the completion of the last subtask in the previous phase if desired. The scheduling of the tasks is performed by Microsoft Project the same either way. Like what you see? Get your special discount offer on the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash video. Over two dozen titles are available in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more.